What is going on YouTube? My name is Paul. Welcome back to another video. Um, today's video I want to talk about uh, slow sales. Uh, this will only, um, I only have experience with auto parts and uh, I kind of got few things throughout the years that make slow sales for auto parts this season and few few little tips at the end where I'm going to share how you can get yourselves up. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right, one would be a holiday season. So with with me selling for a little over five years now, I re I really uh, uh, looked in through it, and I did find uh, through our history of sales that uh, early November throughout uh, pretty much the full November December, um, the sales will slowly pick up uh, first to mid of January, and after that it just picks up and. The best sales we've ever had is normally from May to August. Um, I guess kids are out of school because uh, we do have a lot of people buy parts for us from us that are uh, teens, uh, people that get into cars. I guess parents are buying cars for their kids. Um, so holiday season is the slowest for auto parts. Uh, I would assume other products should sell better, uh, especially holiday related products or anything of gifts or something, stuff like that. Um, I would assume that would sell better. But uh, with auto parts, I did notice November. So if you're planning on starting eBay, selling auto parts, I would wait until probably January or February. Uh, maybe get your stuff in line, get all your stuff figured out. Uh, second thing is it might be the economy. Um, Normally people are broke by the end of the year. Uh, at the end of the year, you know you got gifts to buy for kids or whoever, and it's just like the economy is a little w worse this year, which with my uh, history of selling on eBay, I do not recognize the economy necessarily at the moment as being the problem. Yes, everything is more expensive. Everything gets more um, expensive to buy, move, drive around shopping all that is the problem but with the sales being the the way they are right now i do not see that uh, the economy is playing role at my business necessarily at the moment um i mean we did raise prices we do sell about <clears throat> similar as what we used to so i don't know if the economy is a problem with my sales uh, i would think in general the economy is playing a pretty big role um throughout ebay alone uh, but I've been seeing some people complain that there's not enough sales for them to keep it going, to keep it moving. So uh, that that probably be uh, kind of the second biggest thing. Um, the holiday season to me seems like it would be better for other products instead of parts. Uh, but throughout the year, we still sell. It's not like we're not selling anything at all. Uh, there is guys that don't really care and they only have the time during the holidays to fix their cars um, another pro another problem i'm finding is people kind of get lazy before holidays show up and they don't list as much product uh, that's that's kind of the kind of big issue if you want to sell stuff you got to show stuff and you got to put stuff up there for sale um, if you're not doing that and you're just kind of going off of what you already had so Right now, we're in the move process, and we have not been listing anything new for four, four and a half to five months now, and we're still selling fairly well. So it's not the, it's not like you're not listing, but I know if I did list new products, so we're still relisting everything we have, and we're doing it at a very slow turtle pace. I mean. Compared to what we used to do, a hundred a day, uh, we're we're right around thirty, twenty-five a day. Um, sometimes even zero a day. And our sales are still there. We are seventy percent lower than what we normally typically are. Um, and I think that's mainly for not listing consistently and not not being on eBay as much. So another thing is an active account. Um, it is an account where you get on there, maybe like once every week twice weekly um maybe if you get on there daily but thing is you gotta be on those messages you gotta respond to those people immediately you gotta look through offers you gotta deal with feedbacks um you gotta you gotta be on there you gotta fix things um ebay sends you things to update fix uh change up there's a lot of updates coming up and i've been going through them so an active account is definitely a killer for algorithms to put your product ahead. 
Uh, another problem I've seen is expensive products. So people are broke right now. They can't afford it as much as they used to. So if you are able to drop your prices to still be profitable, I would recommend it. I would feel like that would be the best situation. And I've tested this on our store. So this week alone, and I think majority of last week, we did drop our, or we did raise our sale uh, to 20% to drop prices for customers. And we saw a pickup in sales and we're, we're doing pretty good. So sales are up. Um, we're right around where I feel comfortable. If we keep this going throughout November and December, we should get out to January and we should be able to pay pretty much all our bills as we need. So that, that's what I would recommend. Get your prices uh, or sales up. Um, see if that helps your account up. I mean, if you don't have the inventory built like we do, we're right around, I think, a little over 14,000 uh, uh, items listed. So that kind of gives me a uh, break in a way where I can still keep sales going. And for the past couple months where we have not listed a single new product on there things have been selling um, it's not as good as I would like it to be but I can't complain it's better than what I expected uh, in sales I did not expect the move to be so expensive but regardless of that I hope you guys are selling I hope uh, this could help somebody out there uh, that is uh, trying to make ends meet um, I mean, worst case scenario, go borrow some money. If you, if you know your company going to make it back, um, you can borrow some and uh, kind of go through these hard times and pay it off. But again, debt is hard to pay off. It, just be aware of that. So with that being said, I will let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.